Hey, good evening, hello, good afternoon, good morning, good whatever time of day it is to you. Welcome again. We are here in World of Warships and we have some work in progress ships to do some reviews on. So as always, the sign is up there. I'll get it right one of these days. Guys, welcome indeed. Just to give you all a quick heads up, okay, the ships that you see today are all work in progress. And um, since we're doing that, I think we better put the correct hat on. So bear with us while we switch hats. There we go. The hat is on. The earphones are on. There we go. Normal service has been resumed. <laughs> right then. So let's get started. We are down at tier two. Here we are. This is the very first of the new French destroyers that you're going to get your hands on. So as you can see, this is the ensign gabaldi um she's a tier two she's french um so what does that mean for us as players okay well first things first number one she has no smoke and you see she has a boost she has damage control but she has no smoke um, that is a common theme we'll see throughout all of the uh ships on the french line so bear that in mind when you are playing her uh concealment wise she has a good concealment of 5.8 before you add a captain and a captain again that will drop of course decent maneuverability 32.6 knots with a good rudder shift time of 28 or 2.8 seconds now the torpedoes are six kilometer and 57 knots they're okay for tier seven for tier two um the guns though are 100 mil and they've got an 8.9 kilometer range. Um, again, pretty good for a tier two. And your HP is just 7,000. Now you can increase that if you go with the, if you add on the uh, upgraded hull, that gives you an extra 600 HP. And you can get those guns out to 9.8 kilometers. Again, with the upgraded gunfire control. Um, I'm running a couple of flags on her, um, speed boost, etc. The kind of flags you probably have lying about when you start with these ships. Um, I played a few games in her. She is she's a little bit tricky to get used to. Um, first things first, the turret turn, nine seconds isn't great, but perfectly adequate. Um, quite a nice dispersion of 88 meters as well. But she's a tier two, so bear that in mind. Um, you know, you pro a lot of people are going to skip through her, but I would say she's actually not a bad ship. The French DVs, because they are such a diversion from the current destroyer line, by excluding Cabba, um, I would say play them, okay? Really play them, guys, because you're going to need to understand the, the changes um, that you'll have to add in on these ships to get used to playing them. Um... The lack of smoke and things like that means there is a very, very, very different playstyle from your normal destroyers. Now, we've seen this playstyle in La Terrible there. Um, so those of you who got her as a premium will already kind of have a feel for the French destroyer non-smoke gameplay. Um, but, you know, I would say genuinely take your time, grind on the line. Um, are a lot of people going to play her? Some are, some are, but, you know. That's why I'm doing these quick, short, very, just quick look at the ships and, you know, what do we think of them. Um, but that's, you know, that's what we're here for. That's what we need to do for you. Um, anything specific about the gameplay? Run and gun. Just very, very, very Cabba style run and gun. But remember, armor is... Um, yeah, well, this tier two is not going to have armor, is it? So, there you go. But it's a common theme throughout all the ships, as you'll see from my reviews as I go through. Anyway, that's been a hyper, hyper quick look at the ship for you guys. We are going to be back uh, with another video. And in the next video, we're going to look at the next ship in the line. So, see you soon for that. Bye, everybody.